Do you want to give people an overview of geoengineering for the new people who are listening? We've got a tremendous number of new people who have joined our group in the last few weeks. What is geoengineering all about uh, for the new people who, who, a lot of new people who want to know what this is and, and why it's happening? Can you give us an introduction? Yeah, again, the, the term geoengineering, aka chemtrails, the, uh, the layman's term for what we see happening in the skies, but this is weather modification on a global scale. In fact, these programs are so large and so all-encompassing that all other weather modification programs that go on on a, on a smaller regional basis are virtually, they're negated by the scope and scale of the global geoengineering programs. And, and these programs involve a number of aspects. You have the saturation of the atmosphere with various chemical and metal particulates. And there appear to be various purposes and objectives with this saturation. In conjunction with the saturation, which ionizes the atmosphere, makes the atmosphere more conductive, we have the HARP facilities, High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. These are ionosphere heaters. Many have heard of the HARP facilities. There's not just one or two or three. We believe there's at least 18 around the globe, possibly with three more being built in Antarctica right now. And once the atmosphere is saturated with these particulates and then you add the ionosphere heaters, the entire weather system globally is virtually being thwarted. There is no natural weather at this point, and we really don't know what sort of climate conditions we would have necessarily if these programs were brought to a halt, and they desperately need to be brought to a halt because the, the, the saturation of the atmosphere is thwarting the hydrological cycle. It's totally disrupting the rain cycle. Again, we have the artificially nucleated snowstorms, which I just mentioned. You can't go from 100 degrees to snow in one day without a whole lot of help. This includes jet stream manipulation with the HARP facilities, and we, and we are not guessing at this. We have monitoring sources for this signal, and we can see where the signal is most intense, and that's what steers the jet stream. So then you add artificial ice nucleation, which is a chemical nucleation process. They can turn what should have been rain into snow and drop the temperatures of these storm systems by this artificial chemical nucleation. This isn't sci-fi. This is hard science fact. The weather disseminating agencies are trying desperately. Their, their task, and they're all owned to at the very top, it appears, by the Rothschilds and or other parts of the global elite complex. Rothschilds, in particular, are ownership of Weather Channel, Weather Central, Weather Underground. And it was imperative that they own these agencies, otherwise there would be great discrepancy in trying to explain away these events. 